Hey everyone, Logan Hensey here with Mountaineer Van Works, Big Logan, coming at you with a new product that we're launching after nine months of testing. It's a fully off-grid toy hauler base camper. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so let's get started guys. Introducing the Mountaineer Van Works new division, uh, Project Base Camper. So I've used all my van conversion technology to make a removable off-grid toy hauler. That's right, this side-by-side -side has wheels, this camper has wheels. So this is able to move on and off the trailer. It's a seven foot by 20 foot sure track uh, utility trailer. We've modified for our door relief right here. Toes great, tracks great, 2,700 pound trailer with a 10 foot footprint. And this was custom designed to allow a general 10 foot um, side by side wheelbase to fit on the back. So this was fully custom designed around the trailer and around my side by side. Um, this one is pending sale. So I gotta get it back to the shop, get it cleaned up for a uh, pending buyer. And I wanna give you guys a quick tour before we do that. Um, it's been up here on our hunting lease uh, for a few months now. Ever since it's left the shop, we've never had to plug in the shore power. We do have a battery charger that can run off a generator if needed. However, all the systems in place, air conditioning, heating, microwave, induction cooktop, all those things, running, microwave, uh, lighting, audio, TV, all the good stuff is running off of 800 watts of solar. So. We're gonna get inside, we're gonna check it out once we go around and give you guys a few more technical specs on the actual system itself. So again, this unit was custom built to fit on a seven by 20 trailer. Uh, the rating for this sure track is a 7K. We come in with the side by side fueled up with this watered up at like 6,900 pounds. So everything fit into spec to the 7K. I didn't have to go to a 10K trailer. However, say somebody has a stretch wheelbase side by side or a rock crawler or dirt bikes or motorcycles or just a four wheeler. What we can do is customize the size of the trailer uh, to the body and then customize the body to the toys that are being hauled. We can also build this to just fit on a smaller trailer so that we could do a single axle 10 footer. We could do you know, a dual axle deck over. We could do a gooseneck with a larger bed area up front. This is all customizable. We frame out the entire thing in house. So yeah, this is her. Uh, our first gen is Bravo One, the removable off-grid camper. So as you can see up front here, we've got the air conditioning running. I've got some cargo boxes up here. We'll start on the far side and work our way over. Before that, you guys can see the winch that trams this unit on with a custom hook installed to the tongue of the trailer and this pulls up on wheels. So they're very low profile, you can't even see them. Wanted to maximize uh, or minimize per se the vehicle height. So we're just under eight feet tall here. Um, outside, we've got our 40 gallon water tank fill up. We do have, like I said, our secondary or backup shore power charger. There's some stink bugs flying around out here in the field today. Spare tire on the sure track, our outdoor shower box clips right there and a general storage box and again we've used this a couple different times air conditioning cover custom made charcoal lighter just generic storage lockable and dry coming around over here air conditioner is here inside which we'll see soon outside in this box is our diesel cabin heater so there it's been custom installed. Inside has plenums. Our fuel supply is here. Our fill up tank is here. All self-contained, all gas stays outside. Inside is 100% electric. One last thing to mention is our exterior winch controls, which are right here. And as well on the back. And that's what we use to tram off the trailer if need be. And I also use this to attach the side-by-side -side and anchor it down when we're towing it. So works out really great. We modified the back gate on this to fit. 
I used to have a spare tire on the back of this side by side, just like a regular uh, Jeep or something. So I had clearance for that. And this side by side isn't fully pulled forward. I just parked it up here to show you guys today that it still fits without being fully crammed up and mated with the uh, uh, camper itself. Also to wrap up the exterior is our Rockford Fosgate Marine speakers zoned to the interior speakers as well. Those are all tied in with the Furion unit, which I'll show you inside. TV can play through these speakers out here, just inside, zoned, like I said before. And we have a Fiamma uh, F45S uh, 11 foot awning up here as well, excuse me. So one other thing we do have is an exterior outlet for charging things, running power off your inverter. We've got work lights all around this thing. So one under there for at nighttime, one right here for under the awning, one under the tongue for when you're hooking up and one back here for if you're enjoying this side of the camper or taking a nice shower in the evening so we've got a nice evergreen vinyl wrap done uh shout out to studio 35 here in Summersville, west virginia this could also rig up on the back of a flatbed truck so or rollback so we have very many applications for this removable pod Alrighty, so going inside we got a standard rv door with a removable screen coming in nice and cool temps we've got a frigid air 5000 btu uh window air conditioner it runs on solar nice uh thermostat remote for it as i said before all our exterior lighting controls are here our interior main cabin lights are here quick voltage readout usb chargers um this is our heater con uh, control panel for the thermostat so this is our heater hot air uh plenum this is our cold air return that goes back out to that exterior box I showed you. Outlet here, TV up here with another outlet. Uh, nice little table here to dock maybe phones, PlayStation, internet, Wi-Fi box, things like that. So the 32 inch TV uh, is on a articulating mount. This actually fits out the door and can swing out. So I might get a snapshot of that after a bit. But all that said, kind of swings away whenever you're sleeping in the forward three by six, six inch memory foam bed area, this uh, TV just simply kind of slides out of the way here and everybody can still watch it. So I designed it where you can watch it from this area with your little reading light, uh, USB charger and dimming zoned ambient lights, which look really cool with our fiberglass sweep in here. Um, you can see the TV also from the rear bed which is back here. Again, another three by six. Again, local reading light, USB charger, little storage cubbies we put right beside the bed. Put your cell phone, wallet, book, Bible, whatever. Polk audio speakers on the inside here zoned. We got these nice uh, Rec Pro RV Venable windows, which pair greatly with the Max Air Fan. Again, a lot of similar things in this uh, build to our luxury van conversions. Another outlet here. Nice butcher block top, our isotherm, classic big 90 with the freezer control. Never turned it off since we've commissioned it. Got a bag of ice in there. Got some waters in here. Looking good. So over here, the kitchen galley, we've got a nice uh, 15 by 17 stainless sink, black faucet, stationary soap pump. Nice little window seal here that trimmed out this area to stash stuff up. Uh, we've got our 1800 watt true induction single burner induction cooktop and below we have our Bosch 3000 Tronic electric water heater seven and a half gallon gray tank that dumps under the trailer and then our final bed is this table so this commune table you can see here is about six foot and five feet so we can fit five people comfortably right around here. Nice family commune area, hangout area. If you're on your hunting lease, if you're traveling out west, if you're working on the road, this is a great setup. This table drops down and creates our third bed. So let's go ahead and collapse that and show you real quick. So there's our bed collapse down number three. This is more like a full size bed. Again, same width as our forward or our rear and our forward beds but a little bit wider. So nice little conversion spot. If you got an extra friend, a couple kids staying, perfect spot. But while I have the cushions up, I'm gonna show you what's under each area. We've got a 40 gallon fresh water tank, our distribution area, ample storage, guns, throw rugs, 
some longer items, our water pumps right here. Over on this side is our power system, 412 amp hours of lithium, expandable to 618 or more, 3500 watt inverter, master shutoff switch, and our Victron solar charge controller. Finally, right here, hidden under the Ford cushion, is the Labio dry flush toilet. Awesome. We'll just bring the table back up. This is a custom modified standing work desk that's raisable and lowerable. And we've modified that to make our table area and bed conversion pretty slick. Okay, so I'm sitting down here chilling right at the bed area. It's big Logan, six foot five, uh, 330, plenty of room, plenty of height on the table. I always like a high table. I don't want it down on my lap. That's adjustable like I showed you. Our inverter remote's right here. Four out of four bars, cranking the air conditioning, cooking at about 68 degrees in here right now. Uh, we have a zone light under the uh, kitchen galley overhead cabinet there. That's a rocker switch right here. Just turns that light bar off. Uh, again, our Polk audio and our viewing angle of our TV. Nice views outside as well from both the kitchen sink area, just like a regular home and by your front door. So lots of ventilation if you're in mild weather. Again, with the roof and fan stationed over the cooking area. And uh, yeah, I guess last but not least is our storage under the kitchen galley. So we've got three drawers here. We've got this packed out, like I said, as we were testing it over nine months. Our induction cookware, silverware, plastic plates, all that good stuff. Final storage under the refrigerator. We have a little room to kick some shoes off. I made this nice storage cubby area for quick grab or if you're stashing groceries or something right through the, the side door. And a step up to this bed is integrated right here. So we wanted to give this thing some nice aesthetics. Went with some 45 degree accent pieces. Super thin, ultra light cedar planking up here in the ceiling. Smells great, good moth deterrent. And then we used some of those scraps and made some cool mountain peaks over here just to break up the wall. Microwaves right here, 700 watt stainless, just like we use in our vans. And guys, that's about a wrap. Audio, DVD player, Bluetooth, zoned audio in and out. All your control panels you can reach right from the door. Heater controls, outlets all around. Black hardware and black accents. Wanted to go with more of a masculine, uh, you know, premium finish in here. So everything really tied together, guys. Great first build. Cannot wait to build more of these. So one other thing to mention is our Victron Smart Solar Module. Coming in here, let's check out what solar is doing today. Pretty sunny outside as we're shooting up here on top of a mountain. 437 out of 800 and those panels need wiped down again i've had this out in the field for a while i need to get up on top and scrub them but yeah charging at 26 amps 13.24 volts on the batteries running that ac unit the whole time we've been filming we run it day and night we've gone two days in the shade under tree coverage and one day rainy uh in tennessee performed awesome cooked stuff both nights on the induction cooktop um made some meals outside as well but use these utilities hot water heater took a couple nice showers heated up water for our dishes so we've just been really impressed with the performance of an 800 watt solar system with 412 amp hours of lithium so let's talk about one more thing i'm sure i'm going to get the questions it's going to be a hard one to answer right now but what's the price point I can tell you for a fact that this unit is selling in the ballpark range of forty-five dollars to $55,000. That's going to go with the trailer. So our prices can move for a couple different reasons. The trailer of choice, if you have one to supply us, we could reverse engineer to your specific trailer um, if we need to supply a brand new trailer. Um, if we want to custom build this camper pod to be larger, is there a master suite or bunks going to go in the back? Do we need all this relief for a side-by-side? -side? Or maybe it's a four-wheeler or dirt bikes on the back. We can create all this as outdoor storage. We could also put an awning on this side. We're really proud of it being off-grid, like I said, but some people already have a generator and maybe to ease into the cost of that, could pull off on the uh, solar array and maybe do a small battery that can run some of the DC components and an inverter with mainly just charging off of a generator. Solar and lithium battery technology isn't cheap, but man, is it convenient. We're happy to do it. We're happy to engineer it and quote it for you. 
guys check us out big logan channel like this video share it please tell your friends about us be so happy and glad to build more of these and get different form factors out on the road and build our portfolio so guys thank you so much for watching today have a good one we'll be seeing you guys soon peace